Hi everyone, welcome to the series of problem solving through C programming. I am Varun and today we would going to have a look on format specification which is one of the essential part of printf functions control string discussed quite more elaboratively from what we have done till now and importantly we also see why it is required necessarily. Along with this discussion the concept of variable initialization is also explained. Initially, let's recall the syntax of formatted console output function that is printf. The elaborative discussion on syntax with examples were discussed in our previous session. Now, we would like to focus on the format specification part of control string, which helps in defining the output format essential for visualizing data stored in a variable in a desired way. A very small example you can think of is you would like to print the rational data but with only up to two decimal places but till now you realize we are getting data with up to six decimal places automatically. This you can say that it's still bearable that it's okay to get data with higher decimal points. But now look at the problem which would state its requirement automatically. If you people solve the challenge exercise that is given in the last session then obviously you people are getting this sort of console output. First, when inputs were made in sequence as per printf statements for which it gives uniform tabular results because you particularly design that statements for every material with the help of escape sequences. But as soon as when the inputs were not made in sequence as per printf statements then it is going to give us a non-uniform tabular output which is also shown over here. So, it is always desired to plan and use the appropriate format specification through which these problems of irregular spacing and undesired floating points are fixed for dealing with every case, in our case its material and its property. So, in order to always get uniform tabular output with data inputting in any sequence, the understanding of format specifications are highly required. Before the discussion of format specifications, let's have a look on variable initialization. The process of declaring a variable and assigning a value at the declaration time called the variable initialization. Before writing the syntax for variable initialization, let's recall the syntax for variable declaration that is given below for your reference. The syntax for variable declaration is data type, then space, then variable name, then at the end you have to end with the semicolon and at this place you have to give the keyword for that desired data type. Now coming up to the syntax for variable initialization, here same thing you have to do is data type, here you have to mention the keyword for the desired data type, then you have to give the space and then you have to give the variable name, then using the equal to operator or it's also known as assignment operator, then you have to give the value over here as per the chosen data type. So in short we can also say variable initialization is equal to declaration plus assignment in a single statement. In order to understand it completely, let's have some examples of variable initialization. The variable initialization statements could be, if you would like to initialize a variable which is of integer type, then you have to put this statement that is int space turning force is the variable name, then using the assignment operator, then you have to give the integer value that is here it is 120. Next, same is for the floating point number or the rational number. Then you have to use the float. Then this is a specific, specific volume is the variable name and then assignment operator and then you have to give the value over here, assignment value over here. Then if you want to initialize a variable with only a single character, then you, you have to use the char, then variable name then equal to then within the single quotes that single character you can put into the those single quotes then semicolon that is the end of the statement then if you would like to initialize the string or you can also say the word then you have to write a statement char space character string here it is a variable name character string then within the square brackets you have to give the maximum length of word which is which needs to be stored in this particular variable. Like here we have 14 characters including a blank space then I should assign here a 15. Then be careful while giving this value if this value is lesser than this particular word length or sentence length 
then it would generate an obviously an error then assignment oper operator then within the double quotes you have to give the that particular string or that particular words then at the end you have to mark the semicolon the initialization can be used while testing or giving the values of constants like pi which should be assessed everywhere in the program just by its variable name this we will use in our exercise today but after the discussion on format specification let's start with the structure of format specification this is the complete structure of format specification part of control string if we recall that how do we write the format specification previously it's shown here this is compulsory requirement which we were satisfying previously so in syntax it's shown in red font rep representing necessary arguments as all other that are shown within the square brackets are optional arguments if you insert the value into the argument would give the enhanced or desired output else it will give the output with a default formal parameters as we are getting previously now let's understand these optional arguments starting with the flags flag specifies output justification these are some commonly using flags in the format specification structure minus which would left justify the given field width plus plus or negative will proceed with the signed numeric item zero output is left padded with zeros instead of spaces then come on next optional argument that is the width width specifies minimum number of positions in the console output now let's come to the dot precision this particular optional argument specifies maximum number of characters to print on the console output length modifier as it is not required for a while we will discuss it later as and when it is required now next come to the type specifier it's already discussed in so many sessions but still for your reference i have put the commonly using data types and their type specifiers marked over here for integer it's t for float it's f for character it's c for string it's h no problem if you still didn't get this particular things you can just note it down these things we will explain these things with, with the relative examples now before moving further this is the pictorial representation of console output window which needs to be considered in order to understand the format specification concept this is the entire width of window which we also say the field width of entire console output now suppose this is the only printf statement present in the main function the output of this statement that we get on console is like this from this we want to make you clear that each character including blank space would occupy one position or you can also say the one field remembering these things let's have a look on some examples example is suppose we initialize the variable named integer value with the integer data having an value of 2908 the different outputs from different format specifications are illustrated below Let's have a look on first printf statement. This is the default format specification we are passing without any use of optional argument. The output we got is this particular thing. Moving to next. Now in this printf statement, I passed a width argument with two. Please recall what width argument specifies is minimum number of positions to be acquired in console output, and the result is this. from this we conclude however if a number or data width is greater than the specified width it will be printed in full overriding the minimum width specification now coming to next now in this printf statement i pass the width of 6 and we got this output which concludes the minimum 6 fields are acquired but data needs only 4 field so left to are automatically filled with blank spaces and importantly output is right justified now coming to next now in this printf statement i passed a flag argument of minus with width argument 6 recall this will left justify the mentioned width so we got this output now coming to next now in this printf statement we passed a flag argument 0 with width argument 6 and this will replace the leading spaces or empty fields with 0 as shown in the last output please note while specifying format specification for integer type variable the precision optional argument is not required or have no use in integer data case
Now come on to a small exercise. This is for you people. You can pause the video and try to solve this exercise. The solution for exercise is this. You can match with yours as well. Now coming on to some another example. The example is regarding suppose we initialize the variable name rational value with float data type having a value of 29.2511. The different outputs from different format specifications are illustrated below. Please note, while specifying format specification for float type variable, the optional precision argument is specifying decimal places required to be shown. Here we look on default output while not using any optional argument that is we are getting values up to 6 decimal places. Now looking on to the next statement. Next we have mentioned a, a precision argument along with the width, width argument. Here also overriding of field width occurs as seen in the case of integer data example. Here as we mentioned the precision argument with the 4 then we get the output with rational value up to 4 decimal places which will satisfy our this statement. In the next statement we have desired to get data up to 3 decimal places and also spy specifies large field width and output is shown over here. This particular format specification acquired 10 fields and in which the rational value up to 3 decimal places is appended into within these 10 fields. Now next is the use of flag along with the width and precision to left justify the given field width. You can look have a look over here. Next is showing the use of another flag 0 along with the width and precision and the output is shown. Now again coming on to exercise which is for you people pause the video and try to do it by yourself. The solution for exercise is this you can match yours. Now again coming on an example. Suppose we initialize the variable name material name with character data type having a string of cast iron. The different outputs from different format specifications are illustrated below. Let's have a look on first printf statement. Here initially we look on the default output while ignoring the optional arguments. Secondly when we give the width argument the output seems like this. Thirdly, when we put precision argument along with the width argument to recall, here precision specifies the maximum characters or blank spaces allowed to print. So, we get the output like this. As we have mentioned the precision argument with 5, then it only prints the first 5 characters, cast and then space. These are the first 5 characters which are allowed to print in this particular format. Then we use only one of the flags minus to left justify the output as shown. Lastly, we show all the three arguments together which would instruct that output is left justified having minimum 9 field width and allowed maximum 9 characters to print on console. In other case, if we got more than 9 character input then the truncated portion will be shown showing initial 9 characters which may include blank spaces also. As the trend goes on an exercise for you people pause the video and try to do it by yourself. The solution to the exercise is this. Here you can find the variable initializations and then within the main function I have put some printf statements and also using format specification within the control string to get the uniform results. The thing to get note over here, for tabular printing it is advisable to plan the format specifications by analyzing each column and is well depicted in the program and remains same throughout other statements. As if order changes, the console output didn't get affected from its uniformity. The console output we get after compilation is this and we can see that the output is very much uniform as it is desired in our statement.
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग फॉर मोर वीडियोज डू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल मैकी इन